Hello everyone, welcome to the Keto Program. I'm Dr. Jerome Craig. I'll be guiding you through this program over the next seven weeks. And I'm here with Krista from Fitlandia, and she's going to be telling you a little bit about her role in this program uh, before we get started. So I'll let Krista tell you what she's going to be doing with us. Awesome. Hey everyone, if you didn't know by now, um, I am the CEO of Fitlandia, and I'm on a mission to end dieting. Hmm. And I really want to deliver high quality programming, and so this is why I'm partnering with Dr. Craig to do the Keto 101 online program with him for seven weeks. So my role, I'm just going to be there as a support to help boost up your mental attitude about it, keep you cheered on, give you some motivation and inspiration. But also when you signed up, you got a one year membership to Fitlandia, which was a great value. And I'm going to show you each week how to integrate those pieces with it to support you not only through the seven weeks that we're together, but how you can use those resources to support this becoming a lifestyle for you. Yeah, so the Fitlandia Fitness page on Facebook is going to be an important part for you to get the community and support that you need. Some people don't like to play on such a big stage. <laughs> so we also, within this program, um, we have our own personal feed so we can join in our own community and talk about that in a smaller group if that's what you want to do. So what do you need to do to get going? Krista's got some <laughs> tips. I've got some tips. But one of the first things is to get rid of some of the foods that you know will get in the way. So we talked about cleaning out the pantry. Yes. Snacky things that are very, very carbed base uh, need to go. There'll be temptations. They'll be around crackers, bread, chips, pasta, pasta, those kinds of things. Any of the grain based uh, products typically will inhibit your ability to become keto adapted. So we want to get rid of those. Yep. The other thing that you need to think about is getting healthy fats into the diet. A lot of people haven't really thought about this. You know, maybe they only use Crisco or something as cooking oil. So mm -hmm. we need to make sure that you're getting healthy fats. What are your favorite recommendations? I love avocado oil because it stands up to the heat. So you can use that without it getting oxidized like an olive oil. Mm -hmm. But definitely olive oil for all of your salads and cold prep. I love grass-fed butter. Mm -hmm. I like... Um, I like organic heavy whipping cream <laughs> for those who like their coffees. I also uh, recommend coconut oil. Mm. Um, that's also versatile. Doesn't handle the high heat quite as avocado does. But yeah, you want a variety of fats. Food will get boring if you only have one kind of fat. You might want some MCT oil. I address this, but you got to be careful. Don't just go and buy cheap MCT oil. We have a little MCT module, so you don't need to do this to get started. But once you become educated about MCT oil, maybe you'll think a little bit around that. Yeah. The other things I think you should pay attention to is low carb greens, vegetables. Yes. Um, I love salads. I love arugula, I love spinach, I like, you know, <laughs> lettuces. Those all work as a base. Collard greens. Collard greens. Chard. Bok choy. Yep. Um, you got a lot of variety in the leafy greens, but then you can start kind of looking outside of that. I love marinated artichoke hearts. Those work. Oh, yes. Radishes. Um, daikon. Daikon's great. Yeah, a lot of the radishes work. Cucumbers work. Mm -hmm. You know, we can get into fermented foods. Believe it or not, when you pick, you have a fermented beets, beets are kind of, oh, those are sugary, right. right? But if you ferment them, you're using a lot of the sugars up. So they actually have a fairly low carb value. Awesome. And fermented foods are good for the belly. <laughs> so that's very, very good. Um, other things I'd think about, if you are somebody who drinks alcohol daily, you might need to just back off of that. At I least. can help you with that in the program because <laughs> <laughs> I'll be giving up my wine with you. <laughs> yeah, so at least initially you want to become very, very aware that it's very easy to put away more calories than you think if you're drinking a lot of calories. Sure. And then um, other sort of suggestions, if you are very, very health conscious, which is probably why you're here, right? I would be, pay attention to your sources where you're getting your meats from. Oh, great, so great tip. I, I like... Pastured eggs. I, I do eat eggs fairly often. Some people don't. Um, I think you need to pay attention to the quality of your meat because it'll make you adapt better and feel better on a program like this. 
If you're not eating meat, we got some suggestions in the program how to do it vegetarian, vegan. It's a little bit more difficult for me to make the leap, but for others who are more experienced, they'll be able to help you out on the program. Awesome. Those are great tips. Yeah, so that's, that's a good place to start. We'll be starting on Wednesday night. Um, there's actually other videos right below this that you can move into and look at some other kind of sneak peeks of what's, what to do. I okay. love it. And I, and I have my, my number one tip from my perspective and how I'm going to support you each week is to stay motivated. And I want to tell you, you can do this. You absolutely can. So just start giving yourself a really healthy mantra like, I've got this. Like, yeah, I can keto it all day long. And the more that you tell your mind that, the more you're going to create this blueprint of, yes, I can, overcoming any obstacle. Yeah. And I think... For some people, going keto is very, very difficult. And for some people, it's cake. Okay. So it all depends <laughs> on what perspective you come from. Right. Positive outcomes need positive thoughts. All right. <laughs> That's so, right. <laughs> so just come here. Be prepared to learn. We're going to start the work on Wednesday night. You'll be keto adapted in no time. Awesome. See you all then. All right. <laughs>